Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change a drive belt on a Zanussi tumble dryer. If your drive belt has broken, the machine may appear to be running and get warm, but it will not turn the clothes or dry them correctly, so you'll have to replace the belt. Safety first, always unplug an appliance before carrying out any work. The next thing I need to do is to remove the top of the appliance by undoing these two screws at the back. With the top removed, I now need to remove this side panel by undoing these four screws at the back and also one at the top which keeps the side in place. Now careful with the screw on the inside of the machine that when you loosen it, you don't lose either the screw or the screwdriver inside the machine. With the final screw removed, you can then lift up and remove the side panel. And now I need to do the same with the other side panel. With the second side panel out the way, I now need to remove the plastic heater cover at the back by undoing these three screws here. With the screws removed, you now need to unclip the clips that hold the plastic heater cover in place using a flat headed screwdriver. Be nice and careful as these could break. It's a good idea to start with a low one and then work your way around. With the plastic heater cover removed, next thing you need to do is to remove the metal heater cover by undoing all these screws that hold it into place. Now some of the screws that hold the metal heater cover in place are different, so for these bottom ones I'm going to use a Phillips headed screwdriver. On your model, there may be a rubber seal inside the metal heater cover, which keeps the cover stuck to the cabinet. So you might have to use a flat headed screwdriver or a knife just to ease that away. With the metal heater cover removed, I now need to remove the heater itself. This has electrical connections inside the machine as you can see here. So what I need to do is disconnect these electrical connections so I can remove the heater entirely. With the electrical connections disconnected, next thing I need to do is to undo these two screws that holds the heater in place and then take the whole assembly off.
With the heater removed, I now need to remove both the fan cover and the fan inside. The fan cover is held in by this one screw, which you can then undo and unhinge the fan cover. With the fan cover removed, we can now remove the fan itself. To do this, grab yourself a socket set, put it on the nut inside the fan, rest the socket set against the fan cover so it doesn't move. You can then use the fan itself to undo the nut. When the nut is almost off, you can use your fingertips just to remove the nut and the two washers. You can then remove the fan off the shaft. If the fan is a bit stiff, you can use a flat-headed screwdriver at the back of the fan and give it a little knock to make it come off the shaft. With the fan completely out of the way, next thing we need to do is to release the tension on the belt by releasing the motor. So undo the electrical connection to the motor. And then we need to unspring this spring, which holds the motor into position. And then see, we've got a much slacker belt. To release the belt from the pulley and the shaft, pull the pulley as near to the motor as possible, and then drop the belt in the gap. You can then spin the belt to easily remove it from the shaft and the pulley. With the belt completely removed from the pulley and the motor, the next thing I need to do is to remove the back of the appliance completely with the drum. So what I'm gonna do is just disconnect this electrical connector first. And then there are six screws holding the back in place. One, two, another one here, and then three at the bottom. Now I've saved this screw till last as it holds everything in place. Once this screw is out, the whole back panel and drum will be released. With the final screw removed, you can then ease the drum and the rear of the cabinet back, remove your old belt if it's still in one piece. Grab your new belt and you can simply drop it around the front of your drum. With the belt in place, carefully reattach the drum in position on the support wheels, making sure to be careful of any sharp edges. With that screw in, the back panel is now secured. I can now refit the rest of the screws. So now I need to replace the heater. So I'll feed the electrical connector inside the cabinet. Make sure that the rubber grommet which keeps the heater wires in place, is secured on the back before re-screwing in the heater.
With the heater secure, I can now reattach the metal heater cover. With the metal heater cover now in place, we can reattach the plastic heat shield. With the heat shield now in place, I can reconnect the electrical connections to the heater, making sure that all the wires go back in their relevant clips. Now I can refit the side panel. Now I need to reconnect this electrical connection, refit the belt, the fan, and also re-secure the motor. To attach the belt, simply pull it tight Make sure you wrap it around the base of the shaft and then you can turn the belt into position. With the belt in place, now I can reattach the spring that holds on and holds in place the motor. Reconnect the electrical connection to the motor before refitting your fan. Now it's worth pointing out that the connection onto the shaft has a rounded side and a flat side. So make sure you line up the flat side on your motor shaft here with the fan. Grab your two washers, put those into place. Put your nut inside your socket set. And then same as you remove the fan, you can use the turning of the fan to re-tighten the nut. With the fan nice and secure, you can then reattach your cover. I'm going to reattach the top before hinging the bottom into place. With these side panels, it's a good idea to put the base in first Get that into position, rest your foot so it holds the panel in place and then you can work the rest of it into position. Before refitting the screws. So with the top on, there we have it. One brand new drive belt fitted to the Zanussi Tumble Dryer. Remember, spares and accessories for all the appliances around your home can be found on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching. <laughs>